Okay. Everyone, welcome back to Brazil Efrat here at Shira David. Baruch Hashem, today we're going to start a new, a new limud. Um, we're learning today the Kut Elachas Hilchas Tfila. So we did Hilchas Kriyashma, and we uh, we spent quite some time on it. We learned some what I feel is amazing things, and I hope it helped everyone with their Shema and understanding how important it is. And uh, now we're going to go to Shmon Esrei. And, uh, and there's something, so I want to just give you a couple of understanding before we begin. That, uh, you know, Hashem made the, He made the uh, heavens and the firmaments, and He has the, the different malachim and the srofim and the afan, right? All the different angels up on high, right? A lot of different angels up on high. And then we have down here in this world, right? And everything is constantly getting. Shefa from Hashem. Shefa Ruchni, Shefa Kashmi. Everything in this world needs Shefa Ruchni and Shefa Kashmi. This world needs spiritual bounty and it needs physical. In the upper worlds, it's just Ruchni. Okay? We're going to see how this works out now. So now, everyone, here we go. Uh, okay, so here we go. And again, we learn for the well-beings of our, of our soldiers and our, and our captives that Hashem should uh, spare them. Uh, and show them a lot of mercy. Okay, here we go. Uh, so here we go. New, 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 new limud. Bekayet zayimim meirid hatal uvechayrif meirid hageshem. Yim loy amar geshem machzirin oisay uvetal ein machzirin oisay. Okay, these are words of Shulchan Aruch. Okay, it's an Aruch Chaim Kuf Yudalit Simin Gimel and Hey. All right, you'll find this if you want to look it up. So the rules are like this. When you're saying Shmo Nesra, right, we change, we change in the summertime, we say Morid Atal, right? And then in the wintertime, we say Morid Ageshem, right? And the halach is that if someone forgot to say Morid Atal, they didn't say anything, they didn't say anything, they didn't say Morid Atal, we don't make them go back, right? Ashkenaz doesn't say it anyway. <laughs> The bridge, no? What? The bridge version. Ashkenaz doesn't say Meirid Atal. Only in Eretz Yisrael they do. Yeah. Only in Eretz Yisrael, right? They don't. Otherwise, they don't mention it because it's a, it's a given. Tal is a given. You're going to see why. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's really so un- unbelievable. But okay, All right, whatever. That's what it is. Hashem, we say Meirid Atal. Even in Eretz Yisrael, even in Ashkenaz, they all say Meirid Atal. So far, what I've seen. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Only in Eretz Yisrael. Okay, Baruch Hashem. <laughs> Baruch Hashem. But, but, but now, when it, comes to, when it comes to the winter, and we say, we ask Hashem not to send down the towel, not to send down the dew, but we ask Hashem to send down the rain. So then, if you forgot to say that, you have to repeat the Shemon Esra. Huh? Interesting, right? So let's see why. Let's see why. What? It. It's extra, and we need it. No, no, I can't, but we're going to see why now. We're going, to, we're, going to, we're going to understand the mechanics behind what is the reasoning why behind that. Rav is going to show us the beauty of the halacha. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. So the, Rav Nassim says now here, Kital v'geshem nasen ayidei limud ha Both tal, both do, and rain come about via us studying Torah. Not tefillah. No, wait, wait, wait. But no, we're going to see in a minute that Torah is dependent on tefillah. So just wait, wait, wait. Sasha, we're getting started. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The Bechinas, Yarev Kamata Lekhi, Tizal Ketal Imrasi. Right? These beautiful words in, in Parsha Sazinu, right? Uh, where we say that Hashem says, uh, may, may Hashem's teachings drip like rain. Right? May Hashem's teachings drip like rain, and may His utterances flow like dew. Right? Right? That's what the Pasuk means. Right? So we see, we see that the rain, the rain is connected to Hashem's teachings, which is the Torah. Okay? And the dew is connected to Hashem's utterances. That's what the Pasuk says. Okay? Right? Simple shot in the Pasuk. Okay? But everything is dependent on prayer. 
Prayer is really the, the, the catalyst behind everything. You need the prayer to get things moving. Right? In order to be able to study Torah, you, 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 you need tefillah. If you take a look in front of any art school Gemara, right? If you open up the first page, there's always a tefillah in there to help your learning. Did you know that? You have an art school Gemara, you'll see they put in every, in front of every art school Gemara, they put a tefillah in there to help you with your limud. Limud ha Torah. Studying Torah is dependent on your tefillah. Your success in your Torah study is dependent on your tefillah. Okay. He called Limud Atayr Tali Betvila Kamoisha Kosov Rabbi Nuzal, as Rabbi Nachman teaches in Lesson Eight. Uvechinas Ume Ayin Beis Hashem Yitzay. Okay. In 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 the, in the end of time, right? In the end of time, from our Kodesh Baruch Hu, everything is going to come out. We'll see. He's going to explain now. Yarev Ayin Shom Vezeh Bechinas Yarev Kemotar that our Kodesh Baruch Hu's uh, teachings. HaKadosh Baruch Hu's teaching should run, should drip like rain. Ki Hashem, ki Shem Hashem, ekra, hainu bechinas tefila, shaydei zeh zeichin l'seichel elum l'tayra, shaydei zeh naseh talamata. Okay, so this is the beginning statement. Rav Nassim is starting his halacha, right? He always gives us a, a, a punch. Right? He's giving us a little punch here, but he, we're going to get, don't worry, he's going to explain everything here. So basically, the, the, the concept so far is that the, teaching, the teachings of Torah, Hashem's teachings are like rain, okay? And the dew is like Hashem's utterances, His statements. All right? Ah, so if you're learning Torah, right? And you're studying Torah well, and you're studying Torah for the reason because you're trying to get closer to Hashem because you're trying to understand Hashem's under, His teachings, right? That's why you're studying Torah. Not for any other reason. But you want to understand Torah. You want to understand Hashem. You're trying to understand Hashem. You're studying Torah. So that Torah goes up on high and it causes and it causes a Shefa Ruchni. Wow, it's pretty good, right? It causes a Shefa Ruchni. It causes a, a bounty of spirituality on the upper worlds. In the upper worlds, it causes, because again, we started off by saying that the upper worlds and the lower world, and, and this world, every, all, everything needs spirituality, Ruchni. This world needs Gashmi. Okay? The angels work on spirituality. They don't work on physicality. Angels are not physical. Right? Angels are not physical. Angels are, are angels. Right? So they need, they need a, a, a bounty of spirituality. The Shefer Gashmi's, and the Shefer Gashmi's that comes from the Liman Torah, when you study Torah that way. So you send up a spirituality up on high, and then in this world, the Shefer Gashmi's, Min Usmal Sheyesh Torah. And this is the idea that we have, the Yemin and Small in Torah. When we put it, when we do Zosa Torah, right? So we say these words, Yemin Usmo, right? What do we say? Oyrich Yamin Biyaminoi, Vismailoi Oyshe Vachavai, right? Yeah, do you say those words? You know those words? Right on the right side, you should have, you should have, uh, 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 what do you call it? You should have Oyrich Yamin Biyaminoi, you should have length, length of life on the right side. So we learned a lot about Oyrich Yamin, right? What, what does that mean, right? We went, meant that every time you say, you're talking about, Arich is Yomim. We learned many, we learned many lessons on that, right? It's really talking about taking your time and making it, making it, uh, uh, um, make, making it, uh, uh, eternal, right? Taking your time in this world, right? By, by a use, taking and seizing a moment, using it for Torah, for Avoda, for, 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 for his Bodhidus, whatever you're going to do, whatever you're doing, and you, or you're doing a, any mitzvah you're doing. Right? So you're taking that moment and you're making that moment Arich Yom. You're giving, you're giving it length because it becomes eternal. Right? It becomes eternal because you did something positive with it. You did something with your time. You used your Bechira, your free choice to do the mitzvah. You used your free choice to do something. That's the Arich Yomim B'yamina V'smayla Oysha V'chaveh. But the left side is Oysha V'chaveh. It's wealth. Honor and wealth. So we see that the right side is 
is is ruchni. The right side is uh, is uh, spirituality, and the left side is connected to physicality. The bounty of, of, of a blessing of physicality. Abo mi she'ein teirasei oyle la But if someone's studying Torah and his Torah is not going up to the Shechina, his Torah is just sitting here. It doesn't go anywhere. Because again, he's studying Torah for whatever reason. He's studying Torah because he wants to be smarter. He's studying Torah because he wants to impress somebody. He's studying Torah because, or whatever, whatever reason, whatever motive the person has. But he's not learning Torah for the right reason. Right? His Torah doesn't go up, doesn't go up to the Shechina. Umiteva ha but really, Torah is supposed to go up, right? The letters, we learned all about letters, right? Letters are all, every time you study Torah, you say holy things, those letters are holy letters, they go up, right? But now we're saying, and it could be, if you're studying, you're not doing the right thing, the letters aren't going anywhere. They don't have the, they don't have the uh, kinetic energy, they don't have that energy to rise up, they can't get up. Umakin olav hagardine nimusin, and then the shluch uh, din, right? You have the uh, you have your uh, you have the the uh, the malachi chavola. You have all these other ones that are there, right? The shluch din, they're out there, and what they do is and what they do is vinase mizer tal Torah, right? They make they make from the tal Torah oil hepech. They make it they, they they go to the other way and they can make. Tal Malachas. Ah, oh, you hear this? You see where Tal, Tal is, tal, tal is also Lamites. Right? How many Malachas are there in Shabbos? 39. Tal is the same as Lamites. So you can make Lamites Malachas. Either you have, either you have Tal, Du, which is beautiful, which is bounty, which is special, or you have Tal, that could be the Lama Tes Malach. If you're not studying Torah the right way, it causes you to have to do more work. You have to invest, invest more time in your work. And you have, you have to put more, more, uh, more, 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 exert more energy. Ayin Shom, Zebechinas Yeminu Small. That's what the idea of right and left is. Right? Okay. Ayin Shom, Hatev, understand that. Now, so Rav is going to explain this. Rav is going to explain this very nicely now. Don't worry, these are the beginning statements. We're going to go on with many lessons and we're going to teach us. So if you didn't understand this that well, don't worry. We will get it, under, we, we will understand it with Hashem's help with Siata Deshmaya. Okay? Now we're going to discuss the difference between the winter and the summer. Why in the winter do we say Masha Varuch Mayrid Ageshem and in the summertime we say Mayrid Atal? Why is that? Why, how, how come it works out that way? So you'll tell me, okay, yeah, of course, well, you know, that's the rain season, and this is the, the, the dry season, right? Okay, but let's understand behind the scenes, why is it like that? Okay, v'zehu b'chinas tal v'geshem. Ki shefer gashmi is, hu b'chinas geshem. Anytime you hear the lotion of geshem, rain, it's a lotion of gashmi is, Right? Right, you understand that, right? It's a lotion of gashmis. It's a lotion of 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 uh, of uh, of physicality. Okay, it's a lotion of sustenance. It's a lotion of of uh, of uh, of uh, parnasa. He called hashpois mukham b'shem geshen. All hashpa, all bounty that comes from up on high, is called in the lotion of geshem rain. Did you know that? Something interesting, right? So anytime you hear the word rain, geshem. Is talking about Gashmias. Right? I told you I told you from the Rijna, the holy Rijna. <laughs> anyway, so he used to always say, when it comes to the end of when it comes to the end of Sukkis, and it comes to the end of when you have Aishana Rabba and you have and then you have Shmini Atzeris, right? So on Shmini Atzeris, we ask Hashem, we ask Hashem for the Geshem. Right? We ask Hashem for the Geshem. That's when we make the Tvila for the Geshem on Shmini Atzeris. So he said, why do you ask Hashem for Geshem then? Because you already spent the whole month of Elul with, with Tfila, with Shuva. Then you came into Tishrei, right? And, then you, and, you, and you have Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Aseris Yimei Tshuva. Ah, you have the Sukkot, all the, the, the mitzvahs, all the things. Hashem, now we need some Gashmias. We need some Gashmias now. We had a lot of Ruchnias. Now we need a little bit of Gashmias. And that's why it worked out like that. Good morning, Yassi. 
Boke O. Okay. Uh, all right. So every so 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 uh, Geshem is synonymous with the uh, with with Gashmias. Okay. Geshem is Gashmias. All right. Again, when a person studying Torah, then the Torah goes up to the Shechina, because because that's the way of Torah. It's supposed to rise up. Torah goes up. When you study Torah, Torah goes up. But we said if the person is not studying Torah for the right reasons, right, or he's not learning the Torah from the right sources, or whatever the case is, right, he's reading one of these uh, uh, one of these uh, college books on on Torah, right, one of these professors, right, is teaching Torah, right, or whatever, or the guy thinks he goes to the Kabbalah Center, Hashem should spare us all, right? He thinks he's studying Torah. Of course, that Torah is not going anywhere. It's 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 tainted. It's tainted. Okay, nasa mizeh bechinas kishamim shehein bechinas emuna. So again, when the Torah goes up, so it makes it makes uh, it come, it sends down, it sends down the rain. Like we understand, right? We know we know how how rain physically works, right? The 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 uh, the the, um, uh, the moisture rises up to the clouds, right? And then it send the cloud sends back down the rain, right? So that's the way it works, and that's the muscle for the nimshal. When we study Torah and it goes up, we send it up. Then our Kaddish Baruch Hu sends down the Gashmias. Isn't that nice? Right? Interesting, right? As Rabbi Nachman writes in 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 um, in uh, in in Tinyana Halacha Hey, okay, uh, the Torah Hey, Balkain the Chayrev Sheikah Liman Atayra Balayla. When it comes to the winter time. Right when it comes in the winter months, the main learning is at night because you don't have many hours of the day. Right when it comes to the winter, the day is very short. Correct? Right, it gets light. It gets light late in the winter, and it gets dark early. So, so you have mostly have like you have eighteen hours, or sometimes even more of 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 night, of darkness. You don't have the light. Correct? So the the whole point. The whole point of, of the night in the winter time is to study Torah. That's the main point to study Torah. As he says now, Kioz Neamar, Loi Ivre, Lele, Ela Le Girsa. The nights only come for Girsa to study. The nights are there to study Torah. And we know that, that that's the, the, the they, they were known, the Tzaddikim used to say it was the golden necht, right? It's the, gold, the, the, the golden night. Because it's the nights, the nights of the winter time. They're long. You can spend time. Sunday there's nothing else to do. It's cold outside. You stay inside. You study Torah. We know that the whole idea of ve'munoscha ba'leilos, like we say in Mizbeh Shiel Yom Shabbos, right? Ve'munoscha ba'leilos, right? And Muna is connected to the night, right? Because again, why is it Muna at night? Because you don't see Hashem so much in the world. Right when it's daytime and everything's moving around, you could see Hashem more in the world. When it's dark at night, when it's night, you don't see Hashem as much in the world, right? And therefore, you have to rely on your emuna. Okay, now Al Kain Halimut Shelayim Demaz He Oyler Lashchina She Bechinas Emuna. When you study Torah in the winter time, this this Torah goes up to the, again to the Shechina. It goes up to Shemayim and it causes the Shefa Gashmias, it causes the, the Shefa Gashmias to come down the Beloshan Geshem. It comes in the Beloshan of Geshem, it sends down the rain, and therefore that's why we're saying, when it comes to the winter months. The learning that you do at night is closer to come up to the Shechina. It's closer to the Shechina. Because again, you're relying on your emuna, right? The night is emuna, and again, when you rely on emuna, and you're and you're, you're connecting more to your emuna, so of course your learning is going to get closer to the shechina. Hey mitzada adam, hey mitzada shechina kiviyachol, right? The the, the shechina is lower down. The lower the shechina is more with us at nighttime, and and with us we're spending more time. If we if we could spend more time studying Torah, right? And now spending time studying Torah, we always say. Is best if you get up early in the morning, that part of the night, right? Remember, we discussed that all, right? In Hashkama Sabaika, we studied, right? The best time to study Torah is not late at night, it's early mm-hmm. in the morning, where it's still dark. 
Right? People think they'll stay up late at night. We said, that's not good. You're supposed to stay up. You're supposed to get, go to sleep early, like in the wintertime, right? So the tzaddikim would always go to sleep right after the tzaddikim. They would dive in my they go to sleep, and then they, they, they would get up, they would get up uh, a couple of hours later, and they would have a whole, because uh, in the wintertime, Nates is only, uh, what is Nates? Is sometimes even 7 o'clock. 7.15, so you have many, many hours from the time of, of Chatzais to this, it's, a, it's many, many, many hours, okay? And that's understood, that's understood easily, right? A person can easily connect easier to Hashem during the nighttime or early in the morning than he can during the day, right? Because you don't have the hustle and bustle of the day. Right, once you get started with the customers and they start calling you, right, and then the deals start coming in and you have to start doing all of that stuff, right? So then you, 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 you don't have the time. But, but at night, it's much easier, much easier for a person to be connected, to be Mizdavik, to HaKadosh Baruch to connect to Hashem when it comes to the nighttime, more so than the day. Does everyone agree with that? Mm-hmm. Right, is it easier? Do you think it could be easier to connect to Hashem, to feel close to Hashem during the nighttime? Or early in the morning, if you get up early, do you think it's easier than it is, let's say, during the day? Because you could think better, right? You have, you could, you, you, you have, you have clear. You don't have as much uh, as much noise going on. Okay. It depends on the day. It depends on what day. I don't know how I spend the day. Sometimes I just come. Or, you know, all I can do is just lay down, and that's it. Yeah. What do you mean? Okay. Oh, well, because you had a long night. No, I had a long day, and then I come back home, you know, and in the evening, and I just, I can't think. I can't learn, I can't... I understand, so good, so then that's perfect to go to sleep at that point. You can't yeah. learn, go to yeah. sleep, make sure you dive in my, say, Shema, Kriya, Lamit, do everything, go to sleep, then get up early. Yeah. Then, then, you can, then you can experience this. But, but the HR tells us to stay up later. Yeah. I'm stay, to stay up later. Mm-hmm. So then you go to sleep later, and with that bilbul, right? You get that whole check confusion. The what? Check the news. You have to check. The <laughs> <laughs> and then you have a nightmare. Yeah. Right? That cause you have a nightmare, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Checking the news. Oh, Hashem, spare us. Oh, okay. Machma sha'oz nachim ha'oylam neredifas ha'oylam hazeh. Because the world is relaxed. Right at that time, every, the businesses are closed. Right, people are not making the, the the stock markets are closed. Everything's closed at nighttime, so everything is much calmer in the world than it is. Right, unless you're going into the other to the to the to the other side, then it uh, then it gets levitic, Right, right. If you're going to the to the to, to the to the side of Sitracha, then it gets very levitic when it comes to the nighttime. Right, but we're talking about in the in the in the nice in the nice a, a Jewish. Uh, uh, in a nice Jewish uh, 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 system where a person is living, where if he goes to sleep, like you, like you explained, you, have, you, get, you came home, it was a long day, so go to sleep. And connect, to, connect to Hashem during the night, get up early in the morning, you have a clear head, and then you start again, nice. You can. Yeah. It could work, it could work, right? Yeah. You have to work on it. Okay. As Rabbi Nachman writes in Lesson 52, Wow, look at that. The Shechina wants to hear our, our words. It wants to hear us. It wants to hear what we have to say. Right? Like we said yesterday, we were learning in Hilchas Kriyashma, right? Hashem prepares all the words. But yet, when we say the words, Hashem compare, considers it as if it's our words. Right? He gives us the words. But when we say the words, Hashem com- considers it as if it was our words that we actually uttered. But where do we get the ability to utter the words? Hashem gave it to us. Now, anytime you say you're learning Torah, you're doing anything, where do you get the ability to learn Torah from? Hashem gives you the, the, the ability to do it. Right, he gives you the ability to see. He gives you the ability to 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 to, uh, to hold the safer, to read the safer, to say the words. Right, it's beautiful. Right, like we say the beautiful beautiful words, and where these words come from? Eichel. Right, <laughs> is that amazing? Kumi Raini Balayla, get up, Kumi, get up, get up, Raini Balayla, sing to me at night. 
Leroy's Ashmaris. At the head of the, 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 the Ashmara, what do we say? The night has, you have three different Ashmaris, right? There are three different watches in the night, right? The first watch is given over to the Maitranusa. The second watch, Hashem takes it back, and that's the time of Rachmanis. And then the third one, he already getting ready towards, uh, towards, uh, towards, uh, what he called, Alosa Shachar. Okay? And then we say, Noichach Pnei Hashem. Oh, it's close. It's closer to, closer to Hashem Daike, Ki Ashkina, Kiroi Ve'elav, Behu Noichach Pnei Hashem Mamish. So in other words, that's a time where it's easier for us to connect to Hashem. It's easier to connect. Why? Because the Shechina is closer and the Shechina is more connected to you mm-hmm. at that time. So if you tap in to, your, to speaking to Hashem, you can connect to Hashem much easier at that time. At night, the Shechina is in the lower world. Okay, during the day, the Shechina goes up, Lamala. But in the, when it comes to the nighttime, the Shechina is in the lower world. See, it's the same idea. He's just bringing you different sukkim. The same way that the Yonah wasn't able to find its tranquility, wasn't able to find any, any place to rest, right? But when it came to when it comes to when it comes to the nighttime, where the shechina is connected, then the yona can can find it. We are consider the yona. We can connect to Hashem when it comes to the nighttime. But how does the yona find peace at night? Because the because it's it's closer it's closer to uh, to Hashem. The yona we're we're compared to the yona, mm-hmm. right? So there is the yona. We're we're mm-hmm. trying to find Hashem. Yeah. We find tranquility. We feel comfort when we connect to Hashem. When we not, when we don't, when we feel distant from Hashem, we feel Bilbo. Yeah. right? If you feel more connected to Hashem, you have more, 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 uh, uh, more tranquility. Okay, but Al Kain, but Chayrim, Halimah Belayla. Therefore, at night in the winter time, the learning, the Ikkar learning, is at night. Vi Oyla La Shchina Shehi Bechina Semuna Al Kain Nasa Mizeh Bechina Skishamim, and therefore it makes Skishamim. Because again, we said when the Torah goes up to the Shchina. It sends down, the Shechina sends down the Gashmias. The Shechina sends down Gashmias. Geshem. Geshem is lush and Gashmias. It sends down the, 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 the Parnassah, the sustenance that we need. And therefore in the wintertime, that's why we say the lush of Meirid HaGeshem. You understand now why we say it? Because that's the time of Gashmias. And how do you get the Gashmias? Through the Lima Datayra. But we said Lima Datayra is really dependent on your Tvila. Right? You daven to Hashem, you daven to Hashem to have success in your learning of Torah. Right? So really, you always need tefillah. Tefillah is the catalyst for everything. You need the tefillah to be able to get you to learn Torah in a successful way, so the Torah can go up to the Shechina. You daven to Hashem that you should please accept my learning of Torah. Yeah, right? You daven to Hashem, please accept my learning of Torah. Right? And if Hashem accepts it, it goes up, and then it, can, it sends down the Geshem, the, the, the bounty that we need for our sustenance, okay? Does everyone have any questions on this? No? Wow, it's okay, I'm glad. Wow, this is amazing. Okay. Ava Bakayitz, when it comes to the summertime, when it comes to the summertime, she'ikra limit biyoyim. When it comes to the summertime, the main learning is during the day. Wait a second, right? Why? Because again, why? It gets late, it gets, it gets uh, 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 dark very late. Right, like let's say where Abnasan, where Abnasan was in Ukraine, right? So over there it gets light, nighttime. It it's only could be sometimes at ten o'clock in the summertime. It gets dark only at, at ten o'clock, right? Like I know, it, like the, like like some like uh, my friend Baruch Davis was telling me in London. Sometimes they, it gets light uh, only it only gets dark at eleven o'clock at night. <laughs> yeah, well, just the Shabbos is over at. Yeah, so you tell me, 10, yeah, ten thirty. Ten thirty. We have the mincha at nine o five p.m. on. Uh, 9.05 p.m., right? That's what's really weird. And then when did it get light? Uh, Shabbos came at 9. Um, it, got, it got, oh, I didn't see what. And it got light in the morning very yeah. early. Yeah. Right? Very short. Yeah. Very short night. It's all mostly daylight hours. Mostly daylight hours, yeah. right? Mostly when it peak, peak at about 1, 1, 1 a.m. What is it? What? About 1 a.m. It's at the, the latest, at the summer. You, you mean it gets dark at 1 a.m.? Yeah. 1 a.m. it gets dark. Right? There's mamish no night. 
This man was stunned. Yeah, Fish bath is like super late, like twelve oh five something. You know, like. And no, and, and then and then wait a second, and then it yeah, gets light. It gets, well. but then, but wait, but when it gets light very early in the morning again. Oh, well, like three thirty. So what do you have? Yeah. No, there's no, there's no hot sauce. There's nothing. It, it, it's yeah. all light. It's upside down, Mamish. Yeah. It's so much better in Eretz Yisrael, yeah. right? Yeah. You have normal <laughs> zman over here. They have like in the, in the I think everything. Winter. Everything's better in Eretz Yisrael. Even the zman, everything's better. In the winter, like they have like uh, nine o'clock nights. <laughs> Nine o'clock is Nate, right? Nate's, Nate's is nine in the morning. Nine o'clock in the morning. Nate's is nine o'clock. So, but look how long the night. Look how long the night is. Look how long the night. Is. It's unbelievable, right? Okay, but so you see how 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 is, how we, 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 how the learning is working out with what we say. When we say right? So we see that. So we just established that when it comes to the summertime, you have very little hours of night. Well, even here in Eretz Yisrael, right? We don't have it's a, it's a very short night, even over here. It's a little longer than uh, than in Moscow, but yeah. but it's still shorter over here. So the main learning is going to be during the day, because even 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 the, the, the you have very few hours of the night to spend learning, because it's uh, it's always it's always light. Okay. Yeah. Right? And in that time, the, the night is only there for for sleep. Lashinta, right? It's only c- created for sleep. When it comes to the daytime, not everyone zaycha that their learning goes up to the shechina. Why? Because again, there's such bilbul in the world, right? Everything's going on, right? If it's light outside, the kids are still playing and whatever. I, I mean, I don't even understand that. How do you put your kids to bed? I don't even know how these people do that, right? How do they do that? Right? He said it gets dark only at one o'clock in the morning. What do you tell the kids? That bedtime is one o'clock in the morning? 10, 10 to 12. Like about now, 10 to 12. Uh, it's the sun, sun uh, what's the word? Dome. Hmm. Unbelievable. Sunrise now is like a quarter. I've seen a key. Oz, ain adam yoichel avatel kol kach mitir des ha'olam. Because then the person has all his troubles in the world, right? There's all the things going on because it's light outside, right? We said when it's nighttime, you connect more to the amuna, correct? Remember we said that? The amunascha ba'leilais. But during the day, during the day you can find Hashem a little easier. But again, because there's so much noise during the day, so many things going on. There's so much business and so many transactions, so many things going on. It's harder to find Hashem during the daylight hours. And then the Shechina is also, during the day, is up on high. It's not down here. Right? So in the winter time, you understand the difference now? In the winter time, the nights are longer, and the Shechina, when it's dark, when it's dark, and it's the night time, the Shechina is down in the lower worlds, and we're connected to them. We have our Amunah at night, and then when we learn Torah and we speak to Hashem during then, at that time, the Torah can go up to the Shechina much easier because the Shechina is closer to us. Right? The Shechina is not as high. The Shechina is da- lower down. The Shechina is closer to us at nighttime. At nighttime, yes. We established that. Even though I'd always thought that the concept of, let's say, Hanukkah, Kislev, has the darkest days of the year. Right. And it's oh, a little bit of light. Get rid of all the darkness. It can do, do, do right, right, right. And it's like it's a, it's, it's seemingly a dark. Kislev, Kislev like, is the the longest. That's the longest night. Those month, that those days are the longest nights. Right. I guess. I guess I somehow maybe I assume, which is wrong, that and because of that, there's more viewable and confusion and darkness. And hence yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. You, there so is. There, there, no. Be, again. Because again. The world is involved in the parties and all of that stuff at night, and then you have the bilbul, right? But again, what are we saying? After, after, after tzitzah kachavim, a little bit after, go to sleep, then get up at again, then get up at chatzos. It's very strange, very different, right? We're not used to that, right? <laughs> but it could work. This this system, I'm telling you, it does work. You have much more clarity. You could think better. You understand? If you can get up, if you can go to sleep earlier. And get up earlier, you have more time to think. Number one, the kids are asleep. The wife is not. The wife is asleep. So she's not angry at you studying. 
and you're talking to Hashem, you're not talking to her, right? <laughs> right? Many times during the day, you see, you're sitting there with a safe, and your wife wants to tell you something. <laughs> she gets angry at you, right? But when, it, when, it, what? <laughs> but, but when she's asleep, she's asleep. Your wife doesn't want to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, right? Anyway, okay. Just think about it, okay? Um, again, again, this, we have to just change our mindset a little bit in order to see how the, this, real, this system really does work. It really does work if you, if you think it through and you try it. Just try it one time. You'll see, the, you'll see the advantage you get so much more when you can get up early in the morning, how much more you can accomplish, how much clearer your mind is. Right, how clear your mind is, it's at early in the morning, it's so much clearer, right? You, especially if you have a coffee, right? You get a coffee, I'm telling you, I, I take a, a black coffee, and I'm, I'm just like, wow. <laughs> so clear, you ever feel that? Well, we just, uh, you take a black coffee, and then you're just like, your mind goes, wow, you feel clarity. Right yeah. You, you <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing what coffee can do, right? It's mamish amazing. Anyway, okay. Vegama shechina shoz by lama yisel yoyinim al kein roiva limud shelayamim nasem mehem bechinas tal. And therefore, during the during the summertime, most of the learning turns into do. It turns into do. But now, when we say when we have do, there's two there's two aspects of do, right? You have the tal of bracha, right? Like we say, the same talu mata levracha, right? Tal is bracha. But you can also have tal that can be maves, can be death. Tal can also be the lamet tes melachos. Tal, tal is tes lamet. Switch it around is lamet tes, right? Lamet tes are the thirty nine laws of of, of uh, Hilcha Shabbos, right? The, we, the things that we can do, which we learned out from the melachos Mishkan, right? Right, the thirty nine things that they did to build the Mishkan is where we learn out the lamet tes melachos of Shabbos, correct? That's right. Okay, very good. How is it death? Yeah. I mean, Tal's great. I mean, when, you know, rain, I can understand, maybe also could, could be death. How, how, how do we associate Tal with that? We're going to see soon, okay? Shezeh nasa me'alimud shelayoyim. So the Tal comes from the limud during the day. So we said at nighttime, where the Shekhin is closer, where the Shekhin is closer to the person, he's connected more to the Emunah, so then his learning goes up to the Shekhin, and because the learning goes up to the Shechina, it brings down a uh, Gashmias. It brings down, it also sends, it sends the Shefa, Shefa Ruchnias to the Malachim, to the, 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 to, to, to the Malachim, to the, the, to the Ephanim and the Srofim, all the different kind of angels up on high. They also need, they also, they're also sustained by our study of Torah. Everything is sustained by our ter- study of Torah. Right? The Kedushas Levi says that when, when we had, when we had Kabbalah Satayra, and Hashem said, "Anoichi Hashem alekecha." Right? We we said we 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 were thrown back six hundred mil. Remember, remember that? Right? The Medrash says we were thrown back six hundred mil. And then and then wait a second. And then and then and then the and then the Medrash says the Malachim came and the Malachim brought us back to our Sina. Right? We were thrown back, and the Malachim brought us back. So the Kedushas Levi yes, where did the Malachim have the right to touch us? We're holier than them. We're holier than them. We were holier than them at that time. Where did they have the right to touch us? They yeah, said it, so, the, so the Kedushas Levi explained it was really Pekuach Nefesh for the Malachim. Right? That they were going to cease, if they, we don't study Torah, they cease to exist. They are, the, they, they are dependent on us. They're, 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 they're sustained via our studying of Torah. The world is sustained via our study of Torah. Did you know that? Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. good. Okay, but now, in, when it comes to the summertime, when the Shechina is further up, it's not only the Shechina is down at nighttime, but when it's in the summertime and it's daytime, the Shechina is higher up. Now, if the Shechina is higher up, so our learning, unless you learn with real power, or you learn with a lot of, with a, with a, with a, with a, with a lot of Kavani, you, you understand, and you're really being Dovok Ta'akodesh Baruch Hu, so then your, your, your learning doesn't go up as high. So it causes, it doesn't cause a rain, right? It causes more of a tal, right? It doesn't doesn't give you as much. That's why lemaisa in the world. That's why Hashem made the world this way. That when when it comes to the winter time, you have the rain. That's the rain season because of the longer night. Because the night was made for the learning, 
right? But then when it comes to the summertime, you, you have only the towel. But we can really appreciate that well here in Eretz Yisrael, right? Because in Eretz Yisrael, it doesn't rain after we... I'm, 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 I, that's the most fascinating thing that I've experienced here in Eretz Yisrael. As soon as we say, we say, uh, atal, then you don't see any more rain. It's amazing. It's really amazing. And then, in, and then when it comes to Shemini Atzeres, you say, Geshem, and within a day or so, it starts to rain. Did you experience that too, Yassi? Yeah, it's amazing, right? Well, you don't really experience that. If you, well, I lived in New York. It's raining all the time. It's dingy all the time. <laughs> you don't experience any of this beauty. Okay. Okay. Hayoitzim balayla. Okay. Shemakin olav oisem edum. Okay. Hayoitzim balayla. Valkin oimim bekayets moirid atal. And therefore, in the kayets, we say moirid atal because our learning of Torah is more connected to the tal. It's not connected to the to the geshem. Valkin. In loy amar tal, ein machzir in oisai ki tal ein oy netzar. Oh, look at this. Uh, the Gemara, the Gemara Taina says on Daf Gimel Amid Aleph, right? Tal never stops. Tal is always coming. Every there's always due. Every morning there's going to be due. It's always coming. It's 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 built in. Hashem has that all the time. Rain doesn't always come, but Tal always comes, right? And that's why. And that's why. If you say in the winter time, in the winter time, when you say Mashmur Chmeri Nagesha, right? We say, and if you don't, if you forgot to say that, we'll tell you you have to repeat the Shmon Esrei again, right? If you forgot Masha Baruch Hamayi you have to repeat the Shmon Esrei again. But when it comes to the summertime, if you didn't say Mori Atal, you and you forgot to say it, or you're Ashkenaz and you never say it, right? <laughs> right? Ashkenaz don't say it ever, right? Unless the Ashkenaz here and there just always said, right? I'm, I'm yeah. amazed. I'm amazed. I, I, when I'm when I'm in New York, you go to I'm in the I, I dive in by the Nate's Minion over there. They don't say tal. Like, come on, guys, why you can't, why can't you say tal? <laughs> but okay, that's another story. It, it, it's it, okay. Well, it, it's not so hard to say, right? <laughs> okay, but now we understand because the tal is always coming down, right? There's always tal. Tal is always coming; it's never stopping. No matter what you're learning, however you're learning, if you're trying to connect to Hashem, you'll make, you'll get at least, you'll get tal, you'll get something out of it, you'll get tal, you'll get do, you'll get that something will come from your learning. In the winter time, it's a it's a much it's a much more powerful learning where it can go up higher and it can cause the geshem. But in the summertime, al kapanim, whatever you're doing, you'll be able to get you'll be able to get tal. Kimi kola milimudim nasa al kapanim tal avo im loy amar geshem machzirin aisai ah. But if you don't say geshem, if you don't say you're not re, 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 if you go through the shmon esrei and you don't say mashav ruch meiri da geshem b'kia geshamim yechaylim liyos netzarim chas v'shalom kishein alimud kahagain. Right, what's the whole Masech the Tainus about, right? It's talking about making a Tainus if it's not raining. You ever think about why that is? Why would you make a Tainus if it's not raining? What's, what does the two have to do with each other? You ever think of that? What's a Tainus? A fast. Tanit. Right, a fast. Right? If you don't, if you don't, if you're not, if you're not getting, if you're not getting rain, right? It's the rain season, and you're not getting rain, so you make a tainus kisham, right? You make a, you make a yeah, fast yeah. for the rain, right? Yeah, we've had that. Right? We've had that a couple of times here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember because you speak about the rain. One time, uh, there being a, a, at the hotel, yeah, a prayer for rain, and it rained that night, like it rained a while. Amazing. That was like yeah. a, yeah, it would always happen that way. Two years ago. I thought it was longer, but... but Whatever, but... The, the, yeah, yeah. yeah Feel the mamish works. That, it's amazing. They're not me. They're bringing my hair. When you try, when your mamish daven to Hashem and you pour your heart out, it's mamish, you see the results. It's unbelievable. It's really unbelievable. Right? Like the story you told us the other day, right? Yes. <laughs> unbelievable. Okay, but I'll came. Mach mashu netza lepamim vei nasa al kalpanim Since it doesn't always come... And it's not, it's not, it's not 
a regular thing. It's only based on how much we put in. When we study Torah better, we get up early in the morning and we're studying and we're connecting to Hashem. So then the Torah comes, goes up higher, to the, it goes to the Shekhinah, because the Shekhinah is lower, it goes up to the Shekhinah, and it causes the rain, right? If we do the right thing. But if we're not doing the right thing, then, it, then we only get the Tal, because the Tal still comes even in those times. Okay? Again, okay. Again, what, what's the connection between Tainus and Tal? Because well, you're getting closer to Hashem again. Tainus, the whole idea, people don't understand that, right? The whole, what's the whole idea of a Tainus? Tshuva. Is to do Tshuva. <laughs> My people think, oh, it's a time that, oh, I have to fast. And, and they're thinking about the fast. They're not thinking about why is there a time? What the whole idea is to come back to Hashem. That's the whole point of, the, of, of a time. Is, right? Hashem tells us to we, when we fast to get closer back to Hashem. You want to say something, Shalt? No? Okay. Nasal Kopanam. Balkain Tzarek Laski Roy, Kedela Oiroy. And therefore we mention it in order to awaken it. Right? We say Hashem, Ma'ashivaruach, Ma'irin Ageshem. Hashem, send down the Geshem. Again, Tfila, Right? Tfila. Hashem, send down the Geshem. I'm, I'm awakening the, 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 uh, the, the, the uh, rain based on asking Hashem for the rain. When I utter the words, I'm asking Hashem to give me the rain. That's another fascinating thing over here. I find over here in Israel, it never rains without the wind. <laughs> right? We say, Mashav Haruach. Umorid Ageshem, send the ra- wind and then the rain. And that's the, how it happens over here. Yeah, it does. It, it's fascinating. <laughs> no, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's just the way we say it. It's, 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 I, I'm, I'm blown away by that, honestly. These things, they, these things are to me like, wow. I'm saying this all my life, for 50 years, I'm saying, Masha, and I never understood what does the rain have to do with the wind? I never understood it. And then I come to live in Eretz Yisrael, and I go, wow, it, it only rains after the wind. There you go. It took me 50 years to figure that out. Yeah, but both the wind to move the clouds to where the Yeah, wind okay, is. okay. And why he doesn't have to do that in Texas, right? In Texas, it doesn't necessarily rain because it was wind first, right? It didn't do that in New York, I can assure you that. There's no connection with rain and wind in New York. Nothing to do at all. Everything over there is upside down. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, but it's it's fascinating. It's it's, it's amazing. I mean, these these simple things. But to me, okay, okay. Balkain tzarech la askiray kedei lo oiray kemei she perish rabbi seinus al as chazal talk about it in the gemara. As, 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 okay, so we understand that, right? So again, you say it, and it causes the rain. Right, we say it in the second bracha of Shmon Esrei, right? It's the second bracha. Ki oz, nasa hayemin usmol shel ashchina. You have the right and the left. We said the aminai, uh, 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 we said, we, we said that, that uh, um, uh, how did we start off? We started off by saying, we started off by saying, uh, we started off by saying, the we on the left we have the Oish of Achavit, right? And how do we say by Yaminai? The Yamin is the Oirich Yamin be Yamina, right? We say Oirich Yamin be Yamina, Smaila Oish of Achavit, right? When we say Vizosa Torah, right? We say, right? Oirich Yamin be Yamina, Vizmola Oish of Achavit. Right, you have the right and the left. The right and the left. The right is more the ruchnius, right? The oirich yamim, the ruchnius, and the left is more of the oishev v'chavit, right? So you have the right and the left of the shechina yeminu small kamuva v'oz yechaylan lahamshich talo geshem shenasa mealim b'torah sheyesh b'hem gam came yeminu small. When you learn Torah, is the same idea. When you learn Torah, it causes it causes the shefa ruchni. Up on high for the malachim, it keeps the malachim going, right? It keeps the malachim going, and and it causes the gashmias to come down over here that we need in this world, right? And that's why we say we say the mashav ruach amayrid geshem when it comes to shmini atzeres, right? Like we mentioned before from the rishna, right? When it comes when we have shmini atzeres, that's when we start talking about the rain. We don't, we don't, we don't talk about rain till, till Shmini Atzeres. When Shmini Atzeres comes in, we talk about the rain. Kioz, uh, 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 Mizvadin. 
Yachad im Ashkina. Because that's the time, that's the time when we have the closeness with the Shechina. Right? We know where Hashem said, Hashem said, stay with me one more day. Remember, that's how, how the, how, how, how Shemini Yatzeres came about. Right? Hashem said, you know, stay with me, Lini, I'd like, stay with me one more night. Stay with me one more night. And that's the whole thing. When it comes to Sukkis, right? We have all of the, the, the sacrifices of Sukkis, right? 70 different sacrifices from all the nations of the world, right? We get sacrifices, we give for all the 70 different nations, the whole thing, all the, it's very complicated, right? When it comes to Pesach, in the Musaf, it's short, right? But in the, when it comes to Sukkis, every day it's something else, right? It's always, it's something else. It's always changing every day in the Musaf when it comes to, to Sukkis, right? Mm-hmm. But when it comes to Shemini Atzeres, there's only one carbon, because it's only mm-hmm. us, that's the Yichud between Kutzebrichu and Klai Yisrael. That's the Yichud between us. We got rid of everybody else, all the day, so we got rid of you guys, so it's finished. Now, like at, like at a wedding, mm-hmm. right? Like at a wedding, you have all the people there, everyone's there, right? Everyone goes home. Now the chas and the kala can be together, right? The same idea. That's sukkahs. Sukkahs is, 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 is like the, is like the chasna. Everyone's getting together. There's all the people there. Everyone's there. But when it comes to shmini atzeris, it's just us when our kodesh bar. So that's the time when we're close, we're closer to the shechina. Right, we're closer to the Shechina at that time. Oh, so that's an opportune time to mention the Geshem. Because that's when the Shechina is now, that's when the night starts to come in, right? The days start to get shorter as, as Shemini Atzeris comes in. And that's the time when the Shechina comes lower down. The Shechina is more with us. Oh, so that's an opportune time to say at that time, Hashem, we need the Gashmias. Right? Oh. I need my, I, I need what we need. We, we need, we need our, uh, we need what we need. We need our sustenance. When we're close to the Shechina. Right? If you're close to the Shechina, when you're connected to the Shechina, so then you can ask Hashem for the, for the sustenance. Make sense? Okay. This year, just to separate. Oh, okay. This year. It was Shemini Yetzir, Sorry, and Shemini Yetzir. It always is. In Eretz Yisrael, it always is. So I guess, and obviously it's pretty dramatic. So, but no, but still, but just thinking of this, in our limited way, you would think, oh, you see, this was like, this is a day that Hashem was very far from us. But, but that's not true. I don't understand how, but yeah, I'm learning here that this is actually a day that he's very close to us. Hold on, I don't want you to go for me. Now, I'm not saying, I, I, again, it's hard in my logical mind to make sense of what happened, but... The, but no, but we said, but we said that really, it even, even what, what it did happen on that day... That he wants us close to him. And he did get us closer to yeah, him. Yeah, he did get us closer to him. Yeah, we weren't yeah. getting closer to him no matter what we... There, 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 there were all those protests and all that right. stuff and all that crazy stuff, right? right. And then within within moments, everything flipped back around. Again, we, we're supposed to do what we're supposed to do, and if we don't do what we have to do, then Hashem says, "I'm going to make you do what you have to do." Unfortunately, and then we have a, an October seventh. We're our worst enemies, right? Yeah. Oh, Hashem spare us, right? But this is the, this is the reality. This is how it's supposed to be. Again, when we get up at night and we're studying our Torah, we're connecting to Hashem, if all Jews would be doing that, there would never have been an October 7th. I can promise you that. Mm-hmm. That never would have happened. Right? If all Jews were pro- part of this program, they were part of this program, and rec- understanding that I study Torah, and my Torah studying is dependent, the, the upper worlds are dependent on my Torah study. And then the, 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 the bounty that we have in this world, everything that we have in this world dependent on Torah study? Right? And my connection to Hashem, we won't have any of these problems. Then Mashiach will come. That's how it's going to be. <sighs> okay. Valkein maschilin loyma geshem bishmini atzeres ki oz mizvadin yachad im ashkina. Because now we're connected together with the shkina. Kamayish amru. As Chazal say, the Chagas, Babakosha mikem akvu. Right, stay with me one more. Stay with me again. You should stay with me, right? Imi oid yoim echot. Stay one more day. Kosha alai predaschem. It's difficult for your separation from me. Hashem said, stay with me one more day. Kosha alai predaschem. It's so difficult. I I want to spend a little more time with you. So stay with me one more day. Kamuma b'svarim, as the svarim talk about the shrin, the zoya talks about. It's 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 mamish a lebedigah thing. Shall Yamtov Rishon shall Pesach Maschilin Loimar Tal. 
right? Beyond Rishon. Uva Musaf shall yom to Rishon, right? Shall Pesach maschil in loim etal. Right, we did that, right? We did that this year too, right? Right, when it comes to the first day, right? When it comes to the first day of Pesach, right? So right that day, we already start saying tal. Right, is that right, Yossi? Is that what we did this yeah. year? Do you remember that? Yeah. Maybe you were about Tfilu even. Were you? Uh, this year, uh, this year we make it. Uh, 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 this year, yeah. Uh, it, it was this year. Pay, was, yom, yes, yom Rish and Pesach. Is when we did tal? What? Yeah, that's when we do tal in Muslim. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I might have been actually. Like, yeah. Are we being it? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> I think so. No, no, I did. I had, I had an even, wow, no, no, I think you're right. Yeah, I yeah, you see right. that, see that? I think you're right. And we got plenty of towel. And we got a lot of towel. We got a lot of towel. See that? It's feel it works. You gotta do better. Gotta the feel better. the works. We only have another five minutes. Know, yeah, you have yeah, to yeah. go, you have to go. Okay. The late, they're waiting for you. Okay. Money, money, money. Yeah. <laughs> money is waiting for talk. Okay, loy metal. Ki belel rishon shal pesach hu meichin de godless. We know that the first night of pesach is the meichin de godless. We have the great mind. We have a great clarity. The first night of pesach, right? Hakadosh Baruch Hu gives us. Hakadosh Baruch Hu gives us a, 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 an, an infusion of clarity on the the night of pesach. Lel hakadosh of the seder. It's the night of the seder. We have a we have a we have something. We have a, a special clarity, right? Ba'achakach. But afterwards, Hashem takes it away from us, and we go back to the small-minded thinking. And that's why we have to start to count this Yomer. What does a child do? When a child goes to school, what do they start doing? They teach him how to count. One, two, three, four, five, right? We're starting. We're starting again. We're counting. We're starting again. We're counting, right? Because again, we have the great mind, the great Hashem gives us some a present. The night of Pesach, the, the Seder night, we get a present of clarity. But then the next day, Hashem takes it away from us. It's after the fourth cup. Yeah, after the fourth cup, it's... <laughs> <laughs> and you take that strong wine, right? The 14%, 15%, right? Imagine. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like we just finished the sphere, right? We were going through the sphere. Each day we were raising ourselves up. Like we learned in our class, right? We learned them from the Sefer of Svat and Lachem. Every day we would raise up. Every day we would raise up another level. Okay? Uh, and we become pure. Ki metchila heriman shaloyke seidah. Because originally we have shaloyke seidah. Ba'acha ka chazu leile keseidah kamuva b'svarim. Right? In other words, Hashem gives us Seder the first night. That's why it's called Leil HaSeder. Right? Hashem gives us Seder. He gives us order. Everything's Beseder. Everything's organized. Hashem organized everything for us, but then it goes to like you say there again after the night of Pesach. So therefore, we have to start to ask Hashem at that time, give me the Tal at least, Hashem. I don't have the clarity. I need the Tal. Watch this. Kamuva Sav. Al came be mincha. Shall yom tov rishon oz maskilus oyer bechinas halayla hashniya shall pesach. Already when it comes to mincha of the first day of Pesach, right? Mincha that of that day, you already have the beginnings of the second day of Pesach already in, right? Like we have, let's say, let's say it's a it's a it's erev rishchodesh, right? When it comes to mincha, you don't say tachna, right? Not erev rishchodesh, right? It's erev rishchodesh. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to mincha, you don't say tachna. Why did you say tachna? Because it already has the, the, the feeling already of, of the, the of, of the rishchodesh is already there. So you don't. So now when it comes to mincha of when it comes to mincha of the first day of Pesach, it already has the feelings of the second day of, of the Yom Tov, right? The second day. And that's when the Israchikos, the distancing from Hashem comes in. The first day we have the clarity, but the second day already Hashem is distancing from us. The same way you can maybe understand like this. When you have two parents, right? You have a mother and a father, there's a little, a little baby. Right? Let's say the baby is, uh, is, is 14, 15 months old, right? And they want to teach the baby to walk. So what do they do? The mother takes the hand, and the father takes the other hand, and they walk with him. And the kid is thinking, oh, look, I'm walking. <laughs> the kid's thinking he's walking. 
right? And then and then and then and then the mother takes the hand away, and then he starts to wobble a little bit. And then the father takes away his hand, and he wobbles a little bit more, and he falls down, and then he gets back up, and he keeps going, right? That's what Hashem does with us, right? He holds it; he's holding our hand nice when it comes to Pesach, the first day of Pesach. He's holding us tight, right? And then we're okay. But then the second day, he lets go a little bit, and we have to start to get to catch up on our own. Okay, Maschil and Oz. Right? This there's a way of understanding it. Not we don't all we don't all follow it this way. Okay? We don't all follow it this way. We say tal already in Musaf, right? Is that what we do? Yeah. We say tal already in Musaf. But there's another there's another th- thought that you start start only saying the tal, you only start to say the tal by mincha. Okay, you understand that? Valke nifsa kadin b'shulchan aruch, right? Vein vein paiskim geshem ad hamincha rak she b'musaf maidia hashliach tzibur b'tfilasay b'kol ram shelei loyma geshem od ki im tal. So, because again, everyone, in other words, in other words, the the, the chazan. The Chazan says, the Chazan says in his, in his, uh, in the, in his, uh, repeating of the Shemon Esrei, he starts that he says the Tefillah of Tal. So not everybody says Tal in the Musaf of Shemon Esrei. Not everybody does. Some, some have a, some, there's a school of thought that you still say Geshem in that Shemon Esrei. You still say it in that Shemon Esrei. And then the Chazan, after the Chazan says his Tefillah of Tal, and then he talks about Tal, so then by Mincha is the next feeling that you'll say, so then you'll say Tal. Okay, but everyone does whatever their, their Minog is. Okay, this is just we're learning different ways to understand different things and why it would be set up like that. Okay? Now, Right, and that's why that's the, 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 the nighttime was only set up to sleep. That's going on the Kayats. On the kai, on the on the summertime, because there's only a few hours to sleep in the summertime, right? Like you established, Sasha, right? Right in the, in, the, in the rush, you only have three hours of night. There are four hours. What do you have? Okay, I checked. Uh, they say the difference between the, the winter and the summer is ten hours. A difference of ten hours, right? 10 hours. Right. So, how many hours of night do you have in the summertime? How many hours? They tell about nine nine hours. No, in the summertime. Nine hours of night. No, now. now. You have nine yeah. hours of night now? That, that's what it says. I don't know. I don't know how it makes sense. No, but what time is Nate's in, 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 uh, now in, in, in Moscow? Quarter to four. A qu- so then how, oh, can they, yeah. how can it be nine hours? Yeah, he just said it gets yeah. night. You just said it gets night at yeah, 12 o'clock. Yeah, and a quarter to four is Nate's. Right. So you only have four, yeah. not even four yeah. hours. Right. Quarter to four. Not even yeah. four hours. And the, Sunset is like a twenty to twelve. Good. <laughs> okay, so so it's a very short night, right? right? You yeah. just, right? We yeah, just right, yeah, it's yeah, a very yeah. short night, yeah. right? So that time is said. So sleep during that short time. <laughs> that time is meant to sleep, but otherwise spend time studying with us. Okay. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, but in the summertime, what? I thought it was. I thought you said the night time is better for learning. In the winter time. In the winter time, the time is for learning. But in the summertime, the night is longer. In the summertime, there's a shorter night. Yeah. So then you sleep on the night, the dark hours, because you want the Nascha Balelos again. You want your Nascha Balelos. You want to put yourself to sleep. Right? We, we talk about it at night. I want to give myself over to Hashem. Giving myself over to Hashem is, is a Muna. Right? So I want to do that at night. Right, you understand that? Right, I want to do that at night. So in this, in the winter time, in the winter time, the night is very, very wow. long, very, very long. So then I can go to sleep. I can go to sleep after the three stars. Right, it, it gets night. It gets dark at night, it, it, very early, and then I can get up for the nights. And I can get up again by by uh, by chatzos. It's easy. It's easy to do that because it's so many hours. Then I have so many hours to be able to study Torah. Right, because nights is later. You have so many hours of night. Okay, but when it comes to the summertime, the night's shorter. Okay? 
Therefore, when it comes to the night, go to sleep. Lishan, sleep. Sleep. So there's a lot of Torah that gets scattered around, the Torah that's not being studied the right way. But when again, when you go to sleep at night and you have the Amunos Chabaleilos, so then again, the Torah can come into the person, it can be, it can be returned back to the person. Okay, so this is a, just a beautiful idea to understand Halacha Aleph. This is one one. This is we finished this learning for today. All right, it's amazing. We right. So now we understand. I hope we understand now why in the summertime, if a person doesn't say Moirid Atah, he doesn't have to repeat the Shmon Nasrei because the Tal never stops. It's always there. But the Geshem rain, it's not always there. That's dependent on me connecting to Hashem. And that's why if we don't get Geshem, we have, we have a fast. Why? Because we want to get closer to Hashem. We want to return back to Hashem, okay? So then we understand now, when every time we study Torah, the Torah goes up to the Shechina. The Shechina is lower down in the winter time than it is in the summertime. In the summertime, the Shechina is higher up because it's during the day. More daylight hours, the Shechina is up. Night in the, in the, in the, in the winter time, the Shechina is lower down. So when we study Torah, we're more connected to the Shechina. We're more connected to the Emunah. And therefore, we can cause it to bring us Geshem. Right? We can bring it to Geshem. And that's why we mention Geshem. And therefore, if we don't mention the Geshem, we have to repeat the Shemon Esrei again. Why? Because we have to remember the Geshem because it's our words. When we ask Hashem for the Geshem, that's how we get our Geshem. That's how we can get our Ruchnius. That's how we can get our Gashmius. We can get our sustenance. So let us all daven to Hashem. Connect our Kodesh Baruch Hu today. And remember that you're supposed to say, Meirid Atal. But if you forgot to say it, you do not repeat the Shmon Esrei. Okay, everyone have a wonderful day and Besorah Tovot.